How's it going guys? Cody guys back again dropping yet another video right guys uh, This is a story as you can see from the title. It's a story from the Guardian um, The story the headline reads rising prison suicide prompts calls to tackle overcrowding now Not many of you know this right when I was I was only two and a half right my uncle had been in um, Armley prison or HMP Leeds um, And he came out of prison and he took his own life he overdosed and took his own life now, my family have always said that they didn't know what happened to him whilst he was in prison, but something definitely happened, um, and, he took his, and it caused him to take his own life. So that's another reason that I feel so strongly about prison suicides. That, as well as the fact of, you've got to think about how many prisoners' families I've spoken to, just by doing these vlogs, um, where prisoners' families, girlfriends and stuff, mothers, sisters, twin sisters, do you know what I mean, families have reached out to me and said, look, we want to tell you, we want to speak to you like that, we've got to tell you our story. Um... And like I say, I always deal with these cases very sensitively and very delicately because, um, but the, the, the figures guys are alarming and nothing seems to be done and nothing continues to be done. And like I say, if you've got a loved one or you're aware, if you've got a loved one in prison or like your husband rings or your boyfriend and tells you there's been a death in custody, get me as many details as you can, what wing he was on. There'll, there'll be a notice on the kiosk, it might be on the, like it might be on the wall, on the landing. Uh, on the wing it might be slid under the door get me as much detail as you can my numbers in my description guys get hold of me um literally whatsapp me the picture or like tell me the name of the prisoner um and i will do my bit and i'll make sure that prisoner's death is not in vain moving on from that guys anyway let's read the story um so rising prisons sorry rising prison suicides prompts calls to tackle overcrowding check this guys 71 inmates have killed themselves in england and wales so far this year the number of suicides amongst prisoners this year has already exceeded 2017's death toll prompting penal reform campaigners to renew calls for urgent action to tackle overcrowding the latest suicide that of a man in his 40s who has been waiting to be sentenced at winchester prison bringing the number of self-inflicted deaths in england and wales so far this year to 71 71 Frances Crook, the chief executive of the Howard League for Penal Reform, said she feared for the weeks ahead as Christmas approached. There are simply too many people in the system, she said. Crook, who received regular updates on the numbers of self-inflicted prison deaths, tweeted on Monday to highlight the figure of 71 men and women who had killed themselves. 22 of these were in their 30s and 9 of them were in their 20s, while 3 were aged under 24. A, number of, a total of 24 were being monitored at the time of their death, because they were recognised to be a suicide risk. So 24 guys of these 71 were on, um, will have been on art books and stuff, and were on suicide, suicide watch. How can somebody take their own life on suicide watch? Right? They shouldn't be checked every five minutes, every 10 minutes, every 15 minutes. They should, you should literally, in my experience, they were sat outside a table, outside the cell door, with a, lap, with a flap open, and had to stay there all the time. Lives are being saved every week by the good work of staff in every establishment. No, it's not. But prisons are now really struggling whether they are in special measures or coping with conditions like rat infestations and overcrowding, said Crook. Also, Francis said that. So, yes, sorry. People shouldn't be dying in prisons like this. In cases where the, the state has taken responsibility away from you, uh, they should be at least be safe places. Crook welcomed the fact that the number of deaths has gone down last year, but warned there are there was still a toxic environment in prisons, the majority of which were full or overcrowded. It emerged last month that MPs were told by the NHS watchdog that almost half of England's jails were providing inadequate medical care to inmates, damaging their health, which was resulting in deaths, guys. That's what they've missed out. Healthcare behind bars is so poor in some prisons that offenders are dying because that staff do simply not respond to medical emergencies, the Care Quality Commission has said. Mental health services for 40% of inmates who had psychological or psychiatric problems are particularly weak. This contributes to self-harming and suicides amongst prisoners, according to the CQC's confidential briefing to the Commons Health and Social Care Select Committee. A prison service spokesman said, here we go, the number of self-inflicted deaths in our prisons is too high. We have provided specialist training in suicide and self-harm prevention for over 17,000 staff and recruited more than 4,000 extra officers. Prison staff, uh, 
Prison staff provide support for over 2,500 vulnerable prisoners each day and are rolling out a key worker scheme to make sure that each one has a dedicated support from a specific officer. There isn't enough officers to have a one-on-one. In my former prison, guys, there was, what, I think 90 prisoners on, on the induction. I think there was 30 prisoners for every prison officer, guys. There you go. Um, suicides are a massive problem within prisons. Um, mental health... All healthcare and mental health provisions in prisons are inadequate, guys. And what flows from that is suicide attempts, self-harm, and sadly, suicides. Um, it, and the thing is, right, it makes me laugh. They're saying, oh, 17,000 officers have been given this training. Right, you can't see prisoners a lot behind your door. You might see them when you're opening them up for food, recreation, uh, obviously, social, uh, exercise, um, visits, or to get the food, or, or roll count, right? Apart from that, prisoners don't have time to do it. Officers are worked off their feet where they don't get the time to really do anything, guys. Like, you're on souls. They're doing app books, right, with prisoners. Do you know what I mean? It's just, it's shocking, guys. And like I say, prison body bags are as much part of prison life as the understaffing, the spies, the rats, the mice, the, the, the conditions reminiscent of Dickensian England, dilapidated, broken sanitation, broken windows. Do you know what I mean? Broken glass, broken spirits, broken people. Do you know what I mean? Um, shocking guys, shocking alarming figure guys, 71 deaths of men and women um, and it's just the more I read it guys, it just breaks me out, to be honest with you, it, it, it's sad and it's tragic and stuff, will it change? No, we need to reduce the prison population straight away start off with freeing IPP prisoners um, in prison for public protection or in, uh, as I call it in, in, indefinite public protection Get them people free. It was abolished six years ago. Get them free. I think it was about 3,500 to 4,000. Get them abolished. Get them. It's been abolished, sorry. Get them free. Uh, that will free up three, 4,000 spaces straight away. Um, it's just disgusting, guys, what's going on within prisons. Imagine waking up every day as an IPP. If you're serving a whole life tariff, which means you never, which is the, the US equivalent of life without parole, like life without the possibility of parole, uh, you know that you're going to die in prison. Right? If you're serving... Like I say, 10 years, you're doing five. If you're serving eight, you're doing four. Do you know what I mean, if you're doing five, you're doing two and a half. Right? Imagine waking up every day as an IPP prisoner with no release date. You're jumping through it's for probation, for OMU. You know, you're no closer to release. It's shocking, isn't it? and it's saddening, guys. It's disgusting. So humanitarian crisis, it's state-assisted state suicide. The amount of prisoners, I'd like to know the breakdown of these prisoners that are taking their own lives that were actually out on IPP. Because you've only, every man has got his breaking point, guys. Prison, I don't care how big and how bad you are. Prison will bring everyone to the knees. Suicide doesn't mean they can't handle prison. It just, they've come to, a, they've come to the end of the goal that just like, you know what? I don't want to do this no more. I can't do this no more. Family relationships may have broken down. Um, they might have no relationship with their kids. They've got no support network. And they just spiral and spiral and spiral into depression. And... For those that think that prisons are holiday camps and butlins with bars, look at the statistics, look at the figures. Go and serve some time in prison. Prisons are not good places, and what's going on within prisons is not is is, is, is it's horrific. And as guys, we do the whole match of thing. Oh yeah, prison doesn't bother me and all that stuff. The reality is, right, we can handle our prison, but every everyone every prisoner comes to a breaking point. Every prisoner hits the Hit, like hits rock bottom, or cry, or smash something up in anger, or get upset, we'll, we'll break down, right, we're not, it's not a shameful thing guys, we're men, but we're human beings, and before we was ever offenders, we was first victims guys, growing up in care, sexually abused, physically abused, emotionally abused, I mean mental health issues, Asperger syndrome, fucking autism, parents were addicts, suffered with addiction, been homeless, People in prison, guys, are some of the most susceptible, vulnerable, and damaged people in society. Yes, we commit crime, but look at the root cause of offending. I'm going to leave you on that note, guys. My thoughts and prayers go out to anyone who's lost someone in prison uh, through suicide in this way. If you have a death in custody in your family, or if your loved one takes their own life, please, please, run to the local national news. Run to me. I'll get the story out. Because the system likes to, for death to happen... They put a little notice on the wall and they sweep it under the carpet. Prisoners are people too, you know, guys. And what society needs to remember, those that want to brutalise prisoners, is that 99... What people need to remember is 99% of prisoners, unless they're serving a whole life tariff, 
will be reintegrated into society at some point. It's how we treat them whilst in prison, which will dictate and determine how they act upon release. I'll leave you with that. Like, comment, subscribe. Cody out.